This is an overview of the steps in beta flight to get return to home, rescue mode and fail safe working. Of course the quad needs to first know where it is so it's only for those quads fitted with a GPS receiver. Beforehand we need to know your hover value and to do this have your throttle value on the OSD and record your quad in a hover. Then if it hovers at say 30 your hover value would be the throttle value times 10 plus a thousand or in that case 30 would be 1300. Let's head over to the mode tab and it's really important to ensure you have set up angle mode on one of your switches even if you fly in acro mode normally. Make a mental note of the value you set the quad in angle mode. Also if you want to test these functions you'll need a GPS rescue mode and failsafe mode set up on a switch. Let's head over to the failsafe tab. To test make sure that the failsafe switch is set to stage 1. If the quad loses the transmitter signal it will initially go into stage 1. Set the flight mode to angle by putting in that value you made a note of in the step before. On my setup it's 1000 milliseconds. Then set the throttle to a value that will give you a strong climb. In the stage 2 settings you want to set the period of time the quad will remain in that initial stage 1 mode. I have 1.2 seconds set. Set the fail safe throttle delay to its max of 30 seconds. That means the quad will have to be in zero throttle for 30 seconds before failsafe kicks in. Set the GPS rescue option for stage two. Set the maximum pitch angle to a suitable one. I have mine at 50 degrees so it should be able to fight any wind that I would fly in. And set the hover throttle to the one you discovered for your quad at the beginning. Now let's go test. I initially tested my return to home rescue mode by just setting the GPS rescue mode. So here I am flying away, just a little way, don't need to go, as long as I'm more than the 15 meters it's set, I hit the rescue, it climbs the 10 meters, turns around, comes back towards me and then comes back to roughly the angle it, came, it took off in. So here it goes and it's coming down fairly close to me. Now here's me testing failsafe. Now I forgot to set the throttle in failsafe. So when I hit failsafe it leveled itself and went to zero throttle and just landed in the ground. This time I've got that throttle setting of 1600 or whatever. So I'm flying away and I'm not flying near that grass because that was so wet the day before. So this time it punches up, which is what I wanted it to do. It then heads on back to me. This is not a DJI drone. It will sort of wobble its way back, but it's not too bad. As you can see from the, uh, just under the RX loss there, it's landed within two meters of me, which is absolutely fine. 